Hi, Year 6. Welcome to Friday's Maths Quiz. Um, I know you all loved doing this Maths Quiz last week. Lots of you sending in your scores and telling me those. Um, this week is exactly the same. You know the format. You've got 10 seconds to answer each question. Um, the questions will get progressively harder in each round and you can challenge yourself to beat your score from last week. OK, um, we've got five categories of questions. They are the same categories that we had last week. So we've got addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and place value. Remember, this is the one time in the week when I ask you not to pause the video. OK, I will give you the 10 seconds that you need. OK, do not press pause. Do not cheat and give yourself extra time. OK, category one then is addition. Remember, we're starting with those easier questions and we're getting harder um, to earn those extra points. So for 10 points, question one. What is 59 add 5? OK, the answer we were looking for there was 64. If you got that question correct, give yourself 10 points. Over to question two. What do I need to add to 645 to make 700? And the answer we were looking for was 55. If you got that question correct, give yourself 20 points. All right, the 30-point question coming up then. What is 3,450 add 435? The answer we were looking for was 3,885. If you got that question correct, give yourself 30 points. Question four for 40 points. It's getting tough now. A t-shirt costs £25 and a dress costs £42.50. How much would it cost to buy both? OK, well done if you got that one in the time. The answer we were looking for was £67.50. And if you got that correct, you get that massive 40 points. OK, for the 50-point jackpot question then, coming up. OK, yourselves ready? Brian has saved £332.80p. How much more does he need to save to reach his £1,000 target? OK, and the answer we were looking for was £667.20. OK, if you got that question correct, you give yourself 50 points. On to category two. OK, starting with the easier questions again now, so for 10 points. What is 51 subtract 3? The answer we were looking for there was 48. Give yourself 10 points if you got that one correct. OK, the 20 point question. What is 186 take away 9? The answer we were looking for was 177. Give yourself 20 points if you've got that correct. OK, getting harder, the 30-point question now. What is 157 take away 19? The answer we were looking for there was 138. You get 30 points if you've got that one correct. 
Okay, question four, the 40 point question. Complete the number sentence. What is 1,305 take away something equals 1,102? We're looking for the missing number there. And the answer we were looking for there for 40 points was 203. Okay, the 50 point question, the most difficult question in the subtraction round. Which number sentence is correct? I'm going to let you read those same number sentences and I'll let you choose the correct one. Right, we were looking for D. 3,204, take away 202 equals 3,002. If you've got that one correct, you get the whopping 50 points. On to category three. Remember, we're starting with those easier questions. Ten point question coming up. What is three times eight? Alright, the answer we were looking for was 24. Okay, 20 point question coming up. What is 12 times 5? Okay, to earn yourself 20 points, you needed to get the answer 60. Okay, coming up next is our 30 point question. What is 20 times 6? The answer we were looking for there was 120. Remember to do that kind of question, you can do 2 times 6 and add the 0 onto your answer. If you've got that correct, you get yourself 30 points. Okay, the 40 point question. We're getting tricky with our multiplication now. What is 83 times 6? Okay, quite hard to do in the time, but the answer we were looking for was 498. And if you got that in the time, you get yourself 40 points. Okay, the most difficult question in our multiplication round worth a stonking 50 points. Which is the correct number sentence? I'll let you have a read and choose the correct one. Okay, the answer we were looking for was B. 4 times 20 equals 80 was the correct number sentence. Give yourself 50 points if you got that correct. Okay, have a little breather. I'm sure you're doing a great job. I'm sure you've got loads of points. We're going on to category 4. Category 4, if you remember, is the division questions. Again, we're going to start with those easier ones and work our way through to those 50 point questions. OK. How many twos are in 18? The answer we were looking for was nine. Give yourself 10 points if you got that correct. What is 81 divided by 9? Okay, the answer we were looking for was 9. If you got that correct, give yourself 20 points. Okay, ready for our 30 point question. What is half of 278?
Okay, the answer we were looking for was 139. Quite tricky, but if you got that correct, give yourself 30 points. What is 480 divided by 4? The answer we were looking for there was 120, and if you got that correct, it's 40 points for you. Okay, the big one, the 50-point question, is coming your way. Are you ready? How many fives are in 560? And if you got that correct, we were looking for the answer, 112, which got you that massive, that huge, 50 points. Okay, little breather. Compose yourself, it's the final round. Are you on track to beat your score from last week? Do you know? Right, category five is place value. Again, we're starting with those 10 point questions and working our way through to those big figures for the 50 points. Okay. Number one, what is one less than 2,000? And for 10 points, we were looking for the answer, 1,999. Okay, 20 point question coming up. What is the value of the two in that number on your screen? Okay, the answer we were looking for was 2,000. And you could have either written that as digits or figures. I would accept either. Give yourself 20 points if you got that correct. Okay, 30-point question coming up. Write down the following number in digits. Okay, that number should look as it does on the screen. So it's 4,325,158. And it should look exactly as the, the figures do on my screen. Okay, 40 point question coming your way. What is 11,000 more than 2,385? Okay, for 40 points, the answer we were looking for was 14,385. Right then, the final question of our quiz, the biggie, the 50-pointer. Which number is equivalent to the number in my question? And the answer we were looking for was D, 5,910,265. If you got that, that one correct, it's a massive 50 points for you. Okay then, Year 6, well done. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, your next task then is to go away, add up your points and let myself and Mr Manns know your scores on the class chat. We want to see how you've got on and if you beat your score from last week. All right. I hope you enjoyed that year six. Um, once you have let us know your scores, um, the next part of today's lesson is an arithmetic test. So um, that is um, a paper document, a PDF document that is available for you to view um, in the files section. So if you find that document, have a go at those questions and then come back and watch my second video where I will be talking through the answers and then explaining how to do some of those trickier questions. All right, yes, yeah, six.